Hello to all of you. This is Dr. Dawal Mehta and let's discuss today the normality testing of the data. Now there are some characteristics of normal distribution. We can check the normality of only that data which is continuous in nature. The normal distribution will have a bell-shaped curve. The normal curve extends indefinitely in both the direction. It is unimodal. Mean is equal to median is equal to mode. Symmetrical with respect to mean, that is 50% of the area under the curve lies on the left side and the 50% of the area under the curve lies to the right side. The total area under the normal curve is equal to 1. Now what is the role of the normality and why we are testing it in data analysis? The reason is that we can run the, all the parametric tests only on the basic assumption that the normality is there in the data. Now, what do I mean by normality is that if I take the mean here at 0, then plus or minus 1 standard deviation if I if it is considered, then 68% of the data should be accommodated, accommodated between plus or minus 1 sigma. If it is plus or minus 2 sigma, 95% of the data should be accommodated. If it is plus or minus 3 sigma, 99.7% of the data should be accommodated. Now, how to assess the normality in the data? There are two methods. One, informal method, that is histograms and box plot, and the normal quantile plot. The second is the formal method, where we run the formal test, which is a goodness of fit test, and the test is sapiro wilk test. Now the null hypothesis in testing the normality is distribution is normal. Alternative is distribution is not normal. The common test which includes in most of the software are sapiro wilks and kolmogorov spanoff Now let us understand that how the box plots are created. When we plot the normal distribution and if I draw the middle line that is a line at the median which is a zero line, it is considered to be the second quantile. If I draw a line at first quantile, this red line, and the third quantile, now my entire data will be divided into four parts, 25%, 25%, 25%, 25%. Now this middle line becomes the median in this box. In this box. First quantile line will become this line, this vertical line, and the third quantile line will become this line. If I connect the box, you can see that if the data is normally distributed, then this box, this, the box on both the sides of this line will be equally divided. Next, we have to draw the line at plus or minus 2 sigma or plus or minus 3 sigma. So, you can see here, this is the red dotted line where the whiskers are plotted and that's the reason it is known as box and whiskers plot. Any observation which is beyond this limit that is known as a fencing, it is, they are known as outliers. It means that extreme fluctuations in the data because of which the skewness in the data, uh, uh, the skewness in the, in, the, in the data is introduced. Now let's see how we can test the normality in Jamovi. So we will check the normality of the, of salary. We will go in exploration, activate the descriptives. I'll transfer the salary inside. The first thing which I have to do is to test the normality according to the informal methods. You can click on histogram, then you can click on density plot. And it is quite clear that there is some amount of skewness in the data. You can see here, it is not normally distributed. The same thing, I can click on box plot and the box plot will give me the outliers in my data. You can see that the observation number 29, 18, they are having an extreme observations. Let's see. I'll press this arrow. I'll see the data. Uh, 18. 18 number observation. So there is, yeah, here yeah, in salary. See, one lakh three thousand seven fifty dollars. All others are having a salary in five digit, but observation number 18 and 29, they are having a six digit salary, right? Okay. 
Again, click on descriptive so that you can come back on the main menu. A transfer salary here, store gram and density box plots. Moreover, you can click on QQ plot to check that the data is uh, that the normality is present in the data or not. So, if your data is normal, it is distributed, then this all these dotted lines, this dotted lines will be located on, on this straight line, this line, diagonal line. But as they are not located, it means that the normality in the data is not there. Now, let's run the statistics, formal test. And you just click on Sapiro Index. And it will generate the statistics here. Here it is. You can click here and copy the result in the Word file. I have simply copied it here. My null hypothesis is distribution is normal. Alternative distribution is not normal. See the p-value. As the p-value of the Sapiro Wilkes test is 0 0.001, which is less than 5% level of significance, we reject null hypothesis, which means that the data is not normally distributed. Now, there are some remedial measures which can be carried out. You can achieve the normality by increasing the sample size. Second is by removing the outliers. Now, how to detect the outliers? For this, you just do the tick here and it will give you the outliers on, on both the sides. The highest that is towards the right hand side and this is towards the left hand side. So, by removing the outlier one by one, are you able to achieve the normality or not? You will have to test it again. So, you remove the observation number 29, again check it that way. There is one more method to achieve the normality and that is transforming the data. We have already discussed how to transform the data in Jamovi. But how to test it? Let's see. At present, we are working on Selen. I will convert this salary into the natural logarithm. So for this, I will go in data, I will compute and I will say it is a log of salary and I will activate the function from here, Ellen, double click, transfer the salary here, press the up arrow, and you got the log of the salary. So you have transformed the data. Now, I want to check the normality of this transformed data. So, again, I will go in analysis, exploration, descriptives, and I will transfer log of salary here. Then, I will go in statistics and click on Sapiro Wilcoxon test. Again, I got the p value which is less than 0 0.05, which means that data is not normally distributed even after the transformation. For more videos on data analysis using Jamovi, kindly subscribe to my channel. You can follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter. Please refer my playlist in which I have already uploaded many videos of Jamovi.